Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911 in the series of HRST. Today we are at video number 5. I hope you have seen all the 4 videos because in order to get maximum from 5, you must see the 4 videos previously. Okay, so just go through that. This is the complete playlist 1, 2, 3, 4 and today we are at 5. So today I will show you how to create a HR user and why I am saying that because in order to practice it properly, in order to, you know, understand the uh, a complete procedure of HRST you must be having a HR user why I am saying that let me show you some demo here so you see right now I am logged in as a admin this is a system administrator right and if I go to HR modules you see let me open this HR administration you see there are five modules one two three four five six or seven modules here okay this is for system administrator. So now let me impersonate to one of the HR user which I have created. Let me show you that user first of all. You see this is my user test HR admin. Okay. So this is one of the user. Let me open it. So this is the dummy user. This user is a part of this group which is HR admin. Let me open this group as well. And this group is having this role core admin role. It means it means all the members of this group is also having the core admin role. So now let me log in with this user. This is the user ID. Let me copy it. And let me go to incognito mode. This is my instance. Provide user ID. Now password. So now I am logged in as a test HR admin. You can see here. So now if I go to the HR module here. You see under HR administration, you have much more than what we have seen for system administrator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There were around 7 modules per here, more than 12 modules. And along with that, there are much more things which you can see only when you log in as a, you know, HR team member or HR admin. So quickly, I will show you one more thing. If I impersonate to this user, let's see what will happen. This is my user and I'm impersonating. Now let's move to HR module, HR administration. Here also you see the same as you were seeing as a admin, that is system administrator. So what this signifies, in order to get complete look and feel of HR modules, you must or you try to log in with a HR role or with a HR admin user. Impersonating will not work here completely. You will see some difference. It is because ServiceNow has designed this HRSD system to be completely safe for all the people. Nobody can take extra advantage of their role like system administrator. He will not see the things which are related to security or which are, you know, private for any employee. So that's why we are seeing such things. Even when we impersonate, then also we are not able to see exactly the same configurations. So now let me add the impersonation and create one user. This is my user list. Let me click on new. Provide the user ID. This is my test HR admin 4. Provide any email ID. Okay. Now save this user. Just remember, this is a simple user. This is not a HR user yet because I have not added this user in the group. And if I try to add it, even then it is not allowing me to add because right now I am adding this user uh, with the admin privilege. These things will be allowed only by HR admin or HR managers. So now if I try to add this user in the group, let me do it. Save it. We have the message here, but the user is still not added to the group. Let me reload it. No, it is not happening because I did it with the system administrator role. Okay. In order to add this user to the HR related group or provide HR roles, you must be a HR manager or someone win from the HR team, higher privilege of HR team. So for that we have one user. Let me show you that user. This user is Ramon. He is from HR department. 
and you see he is having these roles he is a part of these groups so let me open these groups you see hr type 3 is having which role this is the core hr manager role and same with the leadership core hr manager so only this user or someone from core manager role will be able to add this user to the group okay to the hr group basically not any group but hr groups but before adding this user to the group let me change the password because once this user is in the group of hr or this user is having hr roles a system administrator will not be able to set the password of this user so that's why let me do it right now because this user is a simple user as of now click on set password generate password copy it and save it so the password is reset for this user let me try to log in in this user now let me log out from this user first this is the password and this is the user id because it is password reset so this is the current password provide some your password click on submit so i am able to log in into this user right now this user is what this is a simple ess user which is having very uh, less access or no role right so now i will come here let us impersonate to ramon reload the user record come here see this user is having this role only snc internal okay and click on edit write down hr admin click on save so if i reload you see immediately the user is now a part of this group okay so this is what i was trying to say in order to test it properly you must have a hr user with hr admin role as well as you will see the difference here why admin is restricted to most of the activities only the hr managers or hr higher privilege roles will be able to manage the things in the hr st or hr modules or hr applications so now you see let me show you one more thing let's move from here and impersonation let me come to so let me log out from this user and log in again user id password login you see this user is now having the all hr cases here all hr modules okay and you see the complete list because right now i'm logged in as a user which is having hr admin role that's why you see each and everything if you navigate with respect to service now documentation all the links and modules which they have provided while explaining hrst it is keeping that user that hr admin user in mind if you try to do it with the help of if you try to do it with admin access only or admin account you will not see all the modules because they are hidden from admin okay and you will not able to see that while impersonating to that hr person as well so that's why you have to create your own hr admin user so now i am again logged in as a admin let me go to the user and try to set the password now see what will happen generate password copy it now save it you see it is showing the message let me do this in list view so that you will be able to see the message properly so this is our user test hr admin 4 this is the password let me try to update it you see the message the scope human resource core has scoped administration enabled and this user has protected roles but you are not an administrator of that scope it is saying that i am not a part of hr team basically i am not that administrator it means i am not uh, you know hr core manager or hr system administrator who has the privilege to set the password for this user because this user now belongs to someone from hr role or hr team so that's what i was telling you 
you have to create a user you have to set a password as i mentioned here before adding that user into the hr team or hr groups then only you will be able to do it otherwise you will not be able to do it the system will not let you do it okay so i hope you understand what i was trying to say just go through each and every video and let me know what your questions thank you so much bye bye